here. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I have my first update for At The Hot Project Pan. This was a project created by me for the Pantastic Ladies. You don't have to be a Pantastic Ladies to join. I have the prompts listed in the, um, in the spreadsheet in the description box, along with the um, assignment sheet and the master list of participants. But this is year long. We started November 25th and we go through November 24th, 2023. There's 50 prompts and these are all about the mid 50s to the early 60s. So the music, the hair, the fashion, the pop culture, the vehicles. I love that era so much. I could probably do a project just on the music of the 50s and the 60s and be here for three years. I just love so much of that music. So um, update monthly, start with as many as you want to, set your own goals, etc. I don't have a whole lot of progress on a whole lot of things, but that's literally because I forgot that it was almost the 25th of December. So <laughs> I'm a little behind, I'm a little behind. So let's start with saddle shoes and that's something in black and white packaging. I brought in this, this is the Cosrx Mucin Snail, Snail Mucin Eye Cream. Um, or eye gel, whatever you want to call it. I have, I just looked at, I can't make a new mark. I don't think I've used this very often. Um, I had a really bad eye reaction and I don't know what has caused it. I'm trying to go through a process of elimination and we'll talk about another product in a little bit. But as of right now, this is here, but if I use it again on its own and I find that it's giving me irritation, I'll have to declutter it. But for right now, here it is. And I forgot to weigh anything before I started this project. So we are just SOL. <laughs> Next, Poodle Skirt, a product that is popular in the community or on social media. I had brought in this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flaws Filter. Um, it's in Too Fair. I really like this. If there is a lighter shade, hold on, I've got a sample pack right here. Is there a lighter shade in this? Oh, there is a lighter shade in this. Wait, no, that says 134. This is two. Maybe here's one. I don't know. Anyway, I like it. I don't love it. Not, I don't think I love it. I don't know. But it's like, it gives you a really pretty glow. Uh, it is, I feel like it's a bit deep because it has, it's really gold. Like it's real, real gold. So, but I don't know if they have a lighter one or not. But anyway, my goal is to finish that. I weighed it today. It's weighing 36 grams. And I have used it, Misty, Michelle, Jesus, oh no, I've used it four times. <laughs> did you not write it down? No, I did. Just put it in the wrong spot. So that's in the finish. Next, a teenager in love, a product that you loved or used as a teen. I mentioned that it, for me it was perfume. I brought in this. This is the Dossier Woody Sage. This is their dupe for the Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. And I can't make a new mark, but I use this every night before I go to bed. Which may sound weird, but I like to wear a perfume in the morning and a perfume at bed. Bedtime. I just like to smell it. And I, I kind of sleep like this, so if I put it on my hand or my wrist, I smell it all night. I love it. Speaking of. <laughs> so, sometimes the pain medicine that I take causes me to have nightmares. And so I took a pain pill and I woke up like at one o'clock, I don't know. And I, I literally thought the house was on fire, like literally thought our house was on fire. So I wake up, jump out of bed, yell at Rob's like the house is on fire. I think the house is on fire. Put my clothes on, like go to the bathroom, <laughs> go to the bathroom, walk into the living room. And I'm like, oh, oh no, the house is not on fire. So I get back in bed and I'm like, sorry. And I think he'd already fallen back asleep because he knows well enough now that if I say, like, if I wake up in the middle of the night and say someone's in the house or something, he's like, go back to sleep. So, yeah, I felt so bad. I was like, I'm so sorry. But, yeah, I had that. And I was like, and it was like such a, like, such a realistic dream. Mm -hmm. Anywho, let's keep going, Misty. Um, return to Cinder, a product, Return to Cinder by Elvis, a product you would return or declutter. And I did declutter it. <laughs> that was the Revolution Foundation Drops. They were just, I think they'd gone off, to be quite honest. So I haven't thought long enough about what I will put in its place, but I will bring something else in next update. So that one is, that one is on, on the list. 
Next, Bye Bye Love, a give me product or a product that's almost gone. I brought in three Smashbox primer samples. So I still have the two and the tube, but I finished this one today, the little primerizer or whatever. I didn't really care for it. I got about 10 uses out of that, by the way. So yeah, so I don't know when, when those will finish, but <laughs> they're in the finish. I haven't decided if that's gonna be rolling. I think I mentioned in the intro that might be rolling, kind of like turn and burn. I haven't decided yet though. Oh, I completely forgot this one. Can I mark it again? Ooh, I can, hot damn. Too hot, hot damn. Call the police and the fireman. Too hot, hot damn. Make a dragon on a retirement. Okay, next we have that's Amazon. Okay. okay, so next we have Mr. Sandman, an item you use before bed, and I had brought in this. <laughs> this is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. This had moved over from, I want to say I Heart the 90s, but I finished it. The pink is where we were, the orange is where we are. I want to say I've used this probably twice since the last update. So, yeah. Next, the Pompadour, a hair care product. I had brought in this, which is actually scalp care, but this is the Not Your Mother's um, Scalp Scrub. This was brand new when we started, and you can see I've been dipping in it. I really enjoy this. I use it once, maybe twice a week, especially this time of year. I really deal with a dry scalp. Um, so, yeah, this is in the finish. Make it moves, make it moves. All right, hula hoop, something in round packaging. I brought in this. This is the Wet n Wild highlighter stick. <laughs> I can't make a new mark. As of the last update, I've used this two, four, six, eight, nine, nine times, and I still can't make a new mark. So clearly I mismarked it the last time, but this is in, and my goal is to finish. Roll it up so you guys can see. About that much left. Just taking it sweet ass time. Sweet ass time. Next, we have Barbie, a pink item, packaging product, etc. I brought in this. This is the Bath Bevy's Escape to Paradise body scrub. Mmm, smells so good. And this is where we are. This will be done by the end of the year. So um, you can expect to see this in my end of the year empties. I, you guys, I literally, I think I've said this before. I She just had an inventory sale and I was like, yes, yes, yes. And I went and deleted all of them. I'm like, Misty, <laughs> you got to finish what you got in first, lady. All right, next to Motown, a black owned beauty brand. I Have I been tracking that eyeliner? No, and that, I need a whooping because I need to track that more often. So that's the Juvia's Place eye eyeliner. Again, I completely forgot to measure or weigh. I completely forgot to do all the things. So we'll start fresh with that one. Sorry, I'm getting out the next one. Uh, wait, did I not mark it? No, I did. Okay. Next is Sun Eartha Kit Santa Baby. Santa Baby. An item you got as a gift or the most expensive item in your collection. Um, this is kind of both. Haley sent this over to me. This is Well Song by Menagerie. My goal is to use this No Pan Left Behind style. And I actually have used the three of the blue mattes. So I used this one, the last blue look I did. I did this one, this one, and this one. And they are lovely. I really like this matte formula. They feel very creamy. Um, they were easy to blend. I didn't have any issues with them. So definitely interested in picking up more from Menagerie. I know they just said they're about to have an end of the year sale. So hopefully I can grab something. Um, we'll have to see what my budget, our budget says. We are about to, um, We number one, we're replacing all of the smoke detectors in our house. And they are $30 of these because we do the 10 year ones. God damn. And then, and Rob had a gift card. I was like, what? And then we are going on a trip to uh, a bed and breakfast that we like to go to. We go every couple of years, but we have a really good time. So we're doing that too. So that, we'll see about makeup. Next, 
McDonald's, McDonald's, an item you go through quickly. This is one of the ones that I decluttered. That was the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Eye Cream that burned, like literally burned. I couldn't wear makeup for like three days and I had to put this on. Danny recommended me the, this last year, but this is um, like a B5 from, I wanna say Cosrx. Yeah, Cosrx, and if you're having any kind of skin inflammation, irritation, this works really, really nicely, and I was using that. My only complaint about the Whale Song is that they, they do stain quite a bit. So yeah, anyway, I'm considering bringing in this eye cream to replace that, but I'm currently working on one, so we'll see. So I'm also gonna leave that one empty. I need to sit down, figure out what I'm currently painting, what I wanna paint for 2020, three and get that all aligned and I will let you know next update for sure. We'll get that figured out. Okay, 1985 Bel Air. Nope. <laughs> 1955 Bel Air, a product you consider a classic or the oldest product in your collection. I had brought in a Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop and I heard this and it was a really pretty kind of cool toned silver and I was like, I will either keep this as is or I will mix it with seismic. I am mixed it with seismic. <laughs> and this is what I came up with. Isn't it pretty? This is mostly the eyeshadow. Seismic was just about done. If you saw my, um, this is what it looks like. If you saw my color pan finale, you saw that. It is a little deep as a highlighter but I mix it and it's still just as creamy and just as nice. So my goal is to finish this. When I hit pan on this, I'm gonna consider seismic done because I'm telling you there wasn't very much of that at all. And then we'll continue on to get that finished. So that is a finished goal that once I hit pan on it, then I'm gonna consider seismic done. And that'll be my second Super Shock highlighter. Done. I still haven't decided what I'm gonna pan in color pan. Next, we have a 1955 Lincoln Continental, something in it for the long haul. And I brought in this. This is my Revolution Corrector. Did I, just, I didn't weigh this one either. I hope I can put up a picture. Although you may not be able to tell much difference because I already had in the middle. I've started working up here. Where, where are we missing? Up here to kind of clear the pan and go straight down this, this side. Um, I use this every time I wear makeup. I showed it to Ruth yesterday. <laughs> I was like, look how pretty it is. It's such a pretty product. And Revolution, mm. there was a video that went up yesterday um, about all of the brands I feel like are on Santa's Naughty List. And Revolution, unfortunately, is one of them. But it's such a good product. And I bought a backup because I'm like, they're going to discontinue it. M maybe not. Maybe with the two doodle bugs, doodle heads out. They'll get their shit right, and we'll see. Fingers crossed. Next, Gumby is a putty or a cream product. I brought in this. I'm gonna have to see if I can find another picture. Um, this is the Elf Putty Contour, and my goal is to finish this. As of the last update, I have used this two, four, six, eight, nine, nine times. So basically, every time I've done my makeup, it's either been nine or ten times. I honestly can't remember. But um, I really like it. I know a lot of people don't. I do. I did buy the new Luminous bronzers that they brought in. I did not get the contour in Luminous because I put stuff on top of this. So, yeah. All right. That's that. Where are we at now? Marilyn Monroe. A product that makes you feel glamorous. Okay, this is where we need to have a conversation. I brought in a Vanny Glitter in Nebula. And I honestly think I'm going to declutter my vanity glitters for a couple of reasons. I may not declutter all of them, but the ones that are like dry and crusty, I'm gonna send those to Jessica because she said she can use them on her nails or whatever. And you can rehydrate them if you want to, but honestly, I just don't want to. I just don't want to. I love them. You guys know I love them. I bragged about them forever, but I've had them several years now and I just can't keep up. And I have a lot of duplicates so I, I'm on the fence about this one too. So I may keep that in to finish it. That was goal, I think, to finish it. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> I haven't decided. I'm just, I don't know. I still love the sparkle, I still love the shine, but it's messy. Number one, they're very, very messy and it gets all over my face. 
But number two, I'm also like the particles are a little bit bigger and I'm like, Misty, we should probably be concerned about glitter near your eyeballs, especially since they've been having so much irritation lately. So I'm literally on the fence. I honestly don't know how I feel about it. So I still think they're beautiful. I still stand by them um, if you're someone who wants to use glitter. Um, and I would use them my, na my nails, but I go get dip, dip done so I don't bite my nails off. Um, so yeah. But so those will probably end up going with Jessica. I am going to film an eyeshadow palette or eyeshadow to clutter. Probably a whole collection to clutter to be, be quite honest. And we'll talk about them then. And like I said, I may keep some of them. I just, I honestly just don't know. I honestly just don't know. If you are someone who's interested in trying the veiny glitters, leave me a comment. Or message me over on Instagram and maybe I'll send you a couple. Again, it just depends. I haven't, I haven't made a decision. So don't don't take it as don't take it as um, it's in stone. <laughs> I missed this one. Where's Peter Pan? Was it Peter Pan? No, it's Cinderella Cinderella? Jesus Christ. No, Peter Pan. That's what I thought. The problem is, I'm. this is my MacBook, and I also do this on my iMac, and sometimes they don't sync. So this is my um, Peter Pan, an item in childlike or child-themed packaging. I brought in my liquid Rare Beauty Liquid Blush and Hope. Um, my goal is to finish this. I forgot to wait it last time, but right now it's at 17. But I'm starting to see windows. It only took a year, but I'm starting to see some windowing. I'm so excited. Um, this is beautiful. All of these are beautiful. I didn't get the mauve one. I went back and forth on it, but I just was like, I don't want a, f I don't want a full one. I don't want a big one. I wish you would do nothing but small ones now, um, because I love these small ones. They're so much easier to use. I had a big one. It went off really quickly. Um, but yeah, and you don't need a lot. I mean, this was. I just cleaned off the. <laughs> just cleaned off. I just cleaned off the packaging and there you go. So anyway, this was a little all over the place. I apologize, but I don't, I, I think it's nerves. I think I have some anxiety and I'm nervous about tomorrow, um, which was Thursday the 22nd. I'm filming this on the 21st. I see my neurosurgeon tomorrow. Um, actually, I see his physician assistant who I haven't met yet. And I already have new doctor anxiety because of after everything I was put through in 2017. So I'm like, <laughs> okay, anywho, uh, for the next update, am I going to have anything finished? Let us look. Ay, ay, ay. Um, oh, yeah, well, I have that um, bath bevy finished. I'll start the body wash because I'm just about done with the one that I have in there. And I'm also going to start my painterly paint pot because I'm about done with the other one. Uh, I may have finished the next dry shampoo because I'm about done with one that I was working on before it. So that might be done. But there's a lot I haven't had a chance to start yet. But again, this is only the second week. <laughs> second month first update oh my word my brain so if you want to jump on this crazy train with me feel free um, as I mentioned you don't have to be in the fantastic ladies Facebook group I made a sheet Google sheet with the prompts down below you can feel free to join in tag me over on Instagram if you're doing this let me know in the comments here if you're doing it and you have a YouTube channel so I can follow you uh, be sure to check out the list of participants. There aren't a lot of us, but there are some of us who are nostalgia for the 50s and 60s. I mean, I'm not old enough. <laughs> my husband is. My husband was born in 1964. I was born in 1978. So this is not the era of my youth, but it's my favorite. And I think a lot of that comes from growing up, we, we lived in the country. Got two channels. And every Saturday, every Sunday, they would have an infomercial for Dick Clark's Time Life, Dick Clark's Rock and Roll era. And I, it was on so much, I had every single snippet of song memorized and I could sing it to you in order. That's how often I watched it. So I just became really obsessed with that music. I just love it so much. So, yeah. Anywho, that's a lot of jibber jabber. I hope you have a fantastic holiday. I believe this is probably going to go up on Christmas Day. 
Um, if you celebrate, I hope you enjoy. If you don't, I hope that you have a good day. It's a good day to have a good day. Um, and if you need some, like, just inspiration or just affirmation, you need to download Snoop Dogg's, like, kids album because it is so good. Today's going to be a good day. Today's going to be a good day. <laughs> I am important. I am important. I get better every single day. I get better every single day. It's so cute. Love it so much. All right, guys. Subscribe if you want to continue on with this mess. And I will see you probably tomorrow. But if not, definitely on the 27th because I believe that's when Throwback 30 goes live. All right, friends. Bye. Love you. Bye, Felita. Bye. <laughs> oh, and I still haven't made the I still haven't made the playlist.